What's going on? It's your boy, yes, big. All right, so on this video, this is a um, this was a second part that was in that press release about the RTO, the return to office. I didn't want to put those two in the same video because I thought they deserved their own video, each of them. And the reason why I wanted this one to be by itself is because to me, this is a big deal, especially this was remember one of, I've said plenty of times. One of the reasons why I kind of sat back, I want to see, you feel me? I believe the line, the streamline, you know, from A to Z, basically getting from employee to that L6 position, I've been said, I've said it countless of times, my thoughts, you feel me? I'm not a representative of the company, not a spokesman, but my thoughts with the climate of the um, economy, I'm like... The talk of restructure or cutting costs or running lean, all of those buzzwords mean something, especially when you're in operations. <laughs> Run lean, you, you know what that means. So I was like, you know what, let me sit back because I had the theory, the thought, just thinking, hmm, I think the path from A to Z, regular employee to L6, to me, in my opinion, with everything going on, I think it has gotten that time length to get from A to Z has gotten will be longer. That was just my opinion. Is that the truth? Does anybody state that? No. But with everything going on, that was just my logical way of thinking. Running lean, all those words made me think, hmm, not only do I think it may take a little longer to get to that position, the workload for those, this is something we've talked about on the live streams. I've said plenty of times, running lean, you know what I mean? That automatically gave me the thought, the workload may be different from what it was prior. And then this comes out in this statement. I'm like, yo, sounds a whole lot like what I've been saying. I don't have no inside access, you feel me? I'm not saying that's what it says. Go read the memo and you will see what it says. But, and I don't even want to dive deep because this is a big announcement. These are big moves. So with big stuff going on, you feel me? <laughs> I'm going to speak a little, you feel me? But I just kind of wanted to touch on some of the overviews and just some of the things that I thought about the announcement. So first off, what's one of the things I've been saying? The safest position, in my opinion, in the company is the position that is front line. The Packers, the Stowers, hands to the plow. Those were the positions that I've always said I felt was the safest when it comes to this company. And with all the restructuring and moving around, running lean, because I've always said you cannot, how lean you going to run with the workers? <laughs> you feel me? Like somebody is always going to have to pack the boxes. That's the reason why we have the offices, because there's somebody packing the boxes. We can lose so we can you can cut and run lean in office spaces, office salary, all the stuff above that, because you still have the main thing being done, which is delivering the packages. But if you remove delivering the packages, all the rest crumbles because that <laughs> that's the foundation. So that's why I thought just logical sense that's the most secure position for the time being. So the first thing it was saying that Jassy wanted to increase the ratio of employees to manager by at least 15%. That was the first thing I said, hold up. <laughs> you feel me? Like I'm not going to go deep break everything down to what I be thinking, but you know, I'll keep it broad and keep it sh on the shallow. We're not going deep. But my mind said, hold up, at least 15%. What's the max? <laughs> you feel me? At least 15% 15 maximum. You know what I mean? What's that number? We don't know. But that's just how I think. So with that right there, already with me being hand in hand with these managers, salary AMs, as me being a PA, I've really seen they vent. They show me everything they have to do. You work hand in hand as a PA with an AM. So I've seen you know, managers have X amount of employees. I've seen, you know, then a manager, you know, something happens and they got to take on some of their employees. So one of the first things I was thinking was like, how is that going to look? You know what I mean? How is that going to look played out in operations? A manager having at least 15% more employees under their belt. I think that's going to be interesting to see. Look, Amazon's going to get it done. They're going to do it. But for me, it's interesting. I'm excited to see 
how this going to play out. You know what I mean? Because here's my thing, and I have a vlog coming on this as well. I was going to call it the PA. Due to this reason, the PA is no longer the golden position, but I don't want to title it that. I think I'm going to call it like, it, will the PA still be the golden position? Because if they're adding on to management, what is the first thing that I think of? Admin work. You know what I mean? Okay, at least 15%. That sounds like more admin work. And not just admin work. Now, that's 15 more percent, at least, associates that's going to be stopping you, that's going to have questions that, oh, my schedule is this, and boom, boom, boom. All of the other stuff besides hands-on operation by at least 15 percent. I know what it looks like when an AM is operating on the floor. You feel me? I've, I've worked hand-in-hand -hand with them, so I'm interested to see how that's going to play out. And then, with that bandwidth, where are they going to pull that from, you know, or unless they don't feel managers are operating at 100% bandwidth. So, oh, you can handle it. You know I mean, here's 15% more associates. You have the bandwidth to do so. Or, you feel know I me, mean, are they going to be pulling bandwidth from, you know, 15% off of operations? Because how many times, even in the comment section, and then if you work in a warehouse, how many times have you heard, and I'm not saying this is true, I always kind of... I see both sides, you feel me, with the people. That's why I love the PA position. You're not with, you're not a part of the people, but you're not a part of management. You're in this special in-between where you see both. You know what I mean? Um, what's your opinion? Do you guys think managers have the bandwidth, have the means to take on at least 15%? Because in the warehouses, I can't even count how many times. What does the manager do? He just always at the desk. Blah, 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 and I'm like, listen, listen, listen. Boom, 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 boom. And try to break it down to him. What do y'all think? Do y'all think... <laughs> Drop a comment. <laughs> but it's funny. That part's funny because I remember as a tier one, before I was even a PA or PG, you just see people walking around with laptops laughing. And like, I'm like, even me, I was like, what are they doing? You know, they're just walking around with a laptop fast. <laughs> you know I me mean? all day. You know, they playing games or <laughs> you have no clue what they're doing. But once you get there, you're like, oh, okay, I see what's going on. Hilarious. Anyways, so it said increasing ratio of employees and management by 15%. By the end of the first quarter of 2025, then here's where it gets interesting to me again. It says, having fewer managers will remove layers and flatten organizations more than they are today. I don't want to I don't want to dive deep into all that. But the first thing I will that made me think, hmm, having fewer managers. So what does that mean? You know what I mean? And I'm not going to speculate. I'm not going to put my thoughts out there because nothing you feel me? What was said is what was said. I don't want to go on beyond that. But I did catch that having fewer managers. So I wonder if managers are going to get put into, you know, dispersed to other places. Not sure how that's going to play out. Then he goes on to say, if we do this work well, it would increase our teammates ability to move fast, clarify, step up their sense of ownership, driving decision making closer to the front line where it most impact customers. And when you hear that, if you're not in the operations, it just sounds like talk. But me being in a PA position is like, I hear what he's saying. You know what I mean? And go read the, um, you know, when you go read it, to me, I'm not going to lie. It makes sense. It makes sense what he's saying. But here's the thing. What does it look like rolled out? Like, okay, I see. And this makes sense. Now, what does it look like in reality? You know what I mean? Like the AM for 2025, to me, it seems like the role, let's say if an AM worked with Amazon, area manager, worked with Amazon 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, went somewhere else and came back in this new structure. What, what you know what I mean? Would they come back like, yo, this we didn't we wasn't doing what's this <laughs> you feel me how is this going to look but then just as he stated i think that's dope i was one of those ones on the front line who had ideas all day let's do this let's do this let's do this let's do this one of the dope things is i had a team a uh, management team they said run with it run with it run with it run with it <laughs> you feel me? we never hit no hey or wait slow down um, it was more so, actually we did. We did hit that a few times, but we still ran because why? We were breaking numbers or we were breaking records. We were setting records, breaking building records. So I'm overall, this makes me very interested to see what does this exactly mean in reality? Are tier ones, you feel me? They're very frontline. Are they going to have, 
You know what I mean? Like, we don't know how does this look. But what this also made me look at was the PA position. And this is why I'm going to make that a whole separate video. You feel me? Those are the key players, in my opinion, on the floor being in that position. That the 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 PA and that AM, especially the PA, they are when you have a PA who knows how to execute, that is a very critical role, in my opinion. I was in that role. And you want to know what I was having my AM do? I literally told them, my dude. <laughs> go off the floor you feel me go take a longer break go through the lanes politic with the people but i was doing that because you feel me i you know like i'm i actually like liked my job and it's like i wanted to learn i wanted more responsibilities is that now going to be the case i don't know you feel me i don't know i'm interested to see how the pa is the pa gonna take up more responsibility in the operations of some of that bandwidth that the AM may lose due to the ratio difference of associates. I don't know. That's not stated in there. That's why low key. This is exciting. I want to see how this is going to play out. You know what I mean? But I thought of this already. Like I was thinking, yo, I don't like corporate. <laughs> you feel me? I want to go back over there. You know, I'm going back over there, coach, put me back on the, put me back over there. But I was thinking if I go back, what more have they put on that PA role? <laughs> I want to be like, yo, snaps, we're doing all this now too. You know what I mean? But I don't know. That's why I'm saying this is very interesting. Um, I'm interested to see how this plays out. I mean, imagine, right? Let's say the PA does get more responsibilities. That come, you know, they getting paid more. You, I don't know. You feel me? Like, what if they drop a little extra more on the PA? Because just as I was saying with the AM, I think if the AM came from the past, from 2021, left to a different company, comes back in 2025, they like, oh, snaps, this is a different environment. I think that same thing, in my opinion, I think that same thing will apply to the PA position. Me, come leaving the PA to go to corporate, what, 2020, I think it was? If I go back in 2025, what would my, oh, you feel me? Oh, you're, you know, congratulations on your PA. Here's your new checklist. Like, oh, cool, thanks. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Let me unroll that for you. You feel me? This long scroll, you feel me, of new tasks to do. Is that the case? I don't know. I'm not saying that. I don't think that would be the case. I'm excited to see what if that, you know, these responsibilities on the closer to the front line, you know, is there some incentive there? I don't know, you know, but I think Amazon is pretty good at innovating, moving, arranging, but we'll see. And like I said, y'all drop y'all opinions. I do not want to dive deep into this because what was stated is what was stated and that's what was stated. You know what I mean? My mind is going. Y'all know my mind is going, but I'm going to keep it on public. I'm going to keep it on shallow waters and just kind of touch on what was stated until we get further news let's see if we get some more press releases on this oh this is what's going on with the managers boom boom then you know what i mean i'll go ahead and elaborate on what's announced but that's kind of how we operate over here i don't want to go too far off of what was stated just because that's what was stated and that's what was stated alone and i'm not a representative or a spokesman so I want to make sure we keep it that way so here's another thing with the ams how they said you know having fewer ams one of the other things i thought of is okay does that make the streamline, as I was saying earlier to that, um, you know, one level one to level six longer because there's now fewer management positions and the pool of people who want that position has just become greater. You know what I mean? Like, think about the management positions that's already there. It's a lot of them for, mo for the most part in most FCs. And the pool is already pretty big. So if those numbers of management positions shrink even more... That means, in my opinion, just my thoughts, the pool of people who want those positions get bigger, making it a little more difficult to get. I don't know. You know what I mean? So, like I said, y'all drop y'all thoughts in the comment section. I waited to see if there was other people who was really going to kind of dissect that part and to go into other things. 
and they really haven't. So I'm not, you know what I mean? I work for the company, so I'm not going to go too deep on certain things. But I think that's kind of a lot to just chew on of what I just said, a lot to think about. Let me know y'all thoughts. Anyways, man, it's your boy SB. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, be sure to hit that notification bell. And yes, we go live every Thursday, so be sure to tune in at 7 p.m. But other than that, man, y'all have a blessed week. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Let's go. I'm on my grind. 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 I get up, I get out and get to it. I'm on my grind.